Um, this guitar, first of all, is a 1938 Martin D28. There's nothing special about it, just a Martin D28 herringbone guitar. And uh, the thing that makes it different and unique and started uh, a major change in the whole guitar industry is the neck. This neck is uh, a neck that Travis designed. This is the very first one like this with the machine heads all on one side. This is a Bigsby neck built by Paul Bigsby, P.A. Bigsby. And the reason this came about is kind of an interesting story. Um, Travis, when he used to sit the guitar on his lap like so, and put strings, you had three machine heads on one side, and then to put strings on the other side, you had to, to do a contortion or put the guitar down or something. So Travis took a napkin one time and drew a picture and asked Paul, he says, can you put all of the machine heads on one side of the guitar so when you go to tune it, everything is all in a straight line and make it kind of like a fiddle, shaped like a fiddle, and that way all the strings would be straight and less apt to break. So um, Paul made a neck, and the, the, the neck came up like this, and Travis with the E string would hit his knuckle on the, on the peg. So he said, make another one and bend it down. So that was this neck. This neck feels very much like a, a Fender Stratocaster. And I think um, a lot of historians say that Strat was actually designed after this neck, although the controversy continues about uh, Leo Fender and his first broadcaster against the Paul Bigsby solid body guitar that he built for Travis. So uh, regardless how it happened, it made things a lot easier for us, the guitar players.